I think I speak for all Celtic fans, all around the world, when I say that the support just love Angie Postacoglu right. Even the Rangers fans want a manager like Big Angie. From the way he conducts himself off the park, deals with journalists, and manages the players, his whole ethos and culture. The man is a class act. It's also fair to say that he is one of the most popular Celtic managers in our history. And we have had many great managers. And the odd snake. Prying eyes of the predatory clubs down south. The gaffer has been the subject of much speculation recently, as he is continually linked with the job after job in the EPL. But it's time to stop all the speculation. That's also the view of John Hartson. Big John said, so I always think I wouldn't be too worried if I was a Celtic fan in terms of Angie being linked to other clubs. That's a compliment. That tells you he's doing very, very well. And I just think we just have to Angie when he says that he's here for the long run. I think, tie him down, give him what he wants, back him in the market. And I think we have got a magnificent man in charge of the football club. I said in a previous piece tonight that the Celtic gaffer needs tied up to a longer-term contract. It's a no-brainer to be honest. The way that Angie single-handedly healed the rift between the Celtic board and the fans surely cannot have gone unnoticed by the suits in the boardroom, so I lay this over to you guys. Get the deal done and enjoy the backing of the fans until the day Angie decides to leave. Something changed within the walls of Celtic Football Club when Angie Postacoglu arrived. The big man from Ounce was an unknown quantity in European terms, yet we had been told by many in Asia that he was a top operator and head coach. His record in Australia with Brisbane Raw and the national team, followed by a stint in Japan did add weight and verify his ability as a winner. Fans did wonder how it would translate to the perennial two-horse race in Scotland, with all the pressure and stress that brings for instant gratification with results. But Angie refuted any such claims and carried on with business as usual, setting about changing a mentality and righting the wrongs of a football club mired in issues. We had to persevere at first with a dilapidated squad that had been ravaged with Loney's leaving, want-away stars and players out of contract. Steadying the ship and teaching his philosophy to the players already here, he added some new faces and things began to click. We put on a show versus AZ Alkmaar for qualification into the Europa League and then people started to believe. Slowly but surely we started to make inroads and hunted down our main rival, despite a barrage of injuries that purged our squad pre-Christmas time. Then we hit January and with the help of reinforcements began a wonderful winning run that never really ended until we lifted the league crown back in May. After such a turnaround and entry into the UEFA Champions League, we found ourselves paired with the reigning champions Real Madrid. On the first game back in five years, we hunted them down and were bitterly disappointed and unlucky not to sail into an early lead. Some of the football we played was exceptional regardless of the final score. Carrying on in this vein, we have had a Champions League group stage campaign that has followed the same path. Unable to be clinical enough, yet at that level in front of goal, Europe has started to take notice of the way in which we have gone about our business and the quality that is present in both our squad and manager. There is a general feeling that Angie is here for the long haul and would only ever leave for a major club in European football. Postacoglu will be around Glasgow for some time yet, as he admits that the bond between the fans and manager cannot be found so easily elsewhere. He seems pretty loyal, and I think if Celtic do back him and do show him how much he is wanted, then he will probably stay because the bond he's built at Celtic with the fans is very, very difficult to replicate. It would appear that even those outside of the Glasgow Goldfish Bowl are acknowledging there is something quite different and unique with this marriage. Angie seems to have found a spiritual home in Celtic and one which shares his personal backstory as its foundations. The understanding that exists is more than just football, it is a common cause and a desire for respect for both our names that binds us. With all the goodwill in the world, I don't think teams such as Brighton would tempt the Greek Aussie away from Parkhead. 
You know something special is happening when people outside of the Scottish football sphere are seeing a wonderful harmony developing. Long may it continue. Let's roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party. Roll